Well, hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. Um, today I'm going to do a video on uh, installing these San Hemo mirrors, towing mirrors onto the Colorado. So, I've been deciding, or been researching for quite a while to um, put different mirrors on my on my um, Colorado because the standard ones just don't show enough vision. Um, I've got to put the little extended tow mirrors on, when, even when I'm towing my trailer, my little camper trailer. But so these ones, um, I think, we're much better. Now the reason I went with the San Hemo ones was, well, for starters, it's price. I got these for five hundred and forty-five dollars. All the other ones I looked at, um, Clearview, and um, some other ones, ones that um, came out and then folded out, um, they were over a thousand bucks. Yeah, over a thousand bucks or close to a thousand bucks. So, um, yeah, cost is a big thing. So, cost is a big thing. But the other thing was, a lot of those other mirrors were, they were tiny. So, they're not much bigger than the one that I've got on there. And I just didn't see the sense in it. The other thing that I like about these mirrors is uh, it's got two sections. It's got one that's operated by um, electric, and then you've got one that's a convex mirror. So, it shows a hell of a lot of um, stuff around and underneath or certainly lower down where I would like it because I can't even see the wheels in my um, or the bottom half of my car when I'm driving I just don't like that so anyway um, let's unbox them and see what they look like well they're certainly well packaged so comes in a nice bag so that's what they look like so they've got the integrated blinker into it here as well and I like this one's a bit different it uh, actually comes out like an LED light so I like that but this is what I was talking about before so this part up here is electric and that part there is a manual one and you can put that wherever you want so that should be pretty good and of course then you just pull it out and it extends out to that when you're towing. Um, that will be only for the caravan. I think that when I've got it like that I should be able to uh, use it on my trailer. So um, it's just a standard plug to um, put it in. I think the hardest part um, uh, will be actually taking off the actual door trim and everything but uh, if I take my time with it I think I should be good. And then just got to bolt these three things up and um, should be good to go. Anyway, let's get into it and uh, start stripping it down. There we go, that's the door card off, I don't believe I need to disconnect anything else there, I should be able to just take those three bolts out up there which are probably 12mm and the mirror should come off, nope, 10mm. Perfect. Look at that. That was easy as. Now let's get the new one on. Do them up nice and firm. Yep, mirror is nice and firm, solidly mounted. Just get the electronics 
connected. Okay, that's the electronics, so just snap in pin plugs, so they're easy enough. Now, what we'll do is we'll make sure that everything's working. Okay, let's see if the mirror works. Right. Yep, that's working. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, all we've got to do is put the trim and everything back on and we're done. Yep, I can see the reflection over there in my solar panel on my trailer. So there you go, all done. Two screws, just some press stud poppings on the card, one up there, a couple of wires, plugs for the wires, and uh, the three bolts holding it on. Easy done. I reckon that took half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and that was just me fiddling around trying to get it right. So I think anyone could do that. It is not hard. So I'm taking my first drive with them. Um, so far they seem a very, very stable um, mirror. Yeah. Both sides seem to be no vibration. Yeah, a little bit of vibration, but nothing major. And uh, I love the mirror on the bottom because, yeah, now I can see the uh, bottom of my car, and especially the tyre if I was going to run over something. That's really good. So just before I make my final conclusion, I've actually extended the mirrors out to uh, what you would have them at uh, position when you're towing your caravan or trailer. They seem to be, again, sitting very stable. You get a great view. So there we go, the mirrors are installed and they're working fine. Blinkers and everything are working fine. Personally, myself, I don't think they look too big. I reckon they're... These are the Gen 2 ones, by the way, too. Not the original ones. So they're a little bit smaller. They've got this piece out of them here. So I don't mind them. And I certainly like the design of that there. Easy to install. I mean, yeah. I had the passenger side on in about, I reckon, 10, 15 minutes. No trouble at all. So Now, pros and cons. Well, they're really good. They're solid. The extension is easy. Certainly comes out nice and solid and they don't vibrate around. Um, and you can push them in, you can fold them into. And they are very stiff and solid, so they certainly won't fold back when you get past the truck. So, that's the, um, I like them. Um, yeah. But here's a con that I've found. Especially on this mirror here. This is the passenger side mirror. I have that full extension up and full extension in. And to tell you the truth, I would like it to actually be a little bit further in and a little bit further up. And you can't get it. So if you were taller than me, and I'm going in the old scale of six foot one, I reckon you'd have trouble getting that mirror to go up enough. So it's something to consider. For me, it's fine. Um, and like I said, with that convex mirror there, I can see my rear tyre, so I can see what I'm backing over or where they're going, so... Yeah, so that's my take on the actual Sanhima Gen 2 mirrors. Um, do I like them? Well, it's, I suppose it's yet to tell. So far, I'm relatively impressed with them, although that motor issue or the actual issue with the uh, getting it in the right position yeah, I'd say that's probably a con that I'm not happy with. Um, I'm certainly glad I didn't spend a thousand dollars and find out the same. The other mirrors have had the same problem, and certainly if you're taller than me, um, it would be something I would seriously look into before you purchased them. Because even five hundred bucks, they're not cheap. So yeah, so that's all for this video. Um, I'll be back out to camping again in my next one, hopefully down towards 
Fingal Valley and um, up into the mountains there. So I'll give some more feedback on the mirrors then and see what it's like when I'm towing my trailer. So anyway, if you like this channel, consider subscribing to it and I'll see you in the next one.